Hello everybody, welcome back to From Rhythm to Algorithm Part 36, Gravity and Light. Again, my apologies for a couple days break, I had to do a profound amount of mathematics and thinking, again for free, again obviously no payment. And I brought out the 757 titanium reinforced Kevlar uh, bulletproof vest again because there's one sentiment of the species. When COVID's up, people don't want to die. When COVID goes away, all people want to die because that life is a fucking joke. So I hope you're enjoying your Carnival America just like me. Um, but just physics today. Uh, trying to develop a fundamental physical direct proof. Um, what, picking back up from the last episode, what is the rank of the basis of physics? Seven days in a week. Seven colors. If I'm thinking seven is to number, I'm thinking again two, three categorizations. Two is not a number, so we have to. We'll get into the physics, but that was like the ideas of the last video. For clarity, um, density is a correct physical definition. Mass per unit volume. Volume such that any object's volume is proportional to its temperature um, versus phases of matter. The the only thing I really want to, density is a correct definition. Gas is not a coherent system. It's, it's not a system, is what I would say. It's a phase, it's a phase change, not a state of matter. Um, but what's, can we describe physics without the word light? I mean, we've, we've, we've made, we're making some pretty seemingly big physical conjectures, but can we, to have a complete physical description without saying the word light. Um, and the reason I initially say this is because vibration and reverberation. Um, like I said, I'm a linguistical prodigy. When I derived the word reverberate, I was literally driving down the road and like, I never spoke the word. I just like started the most singing and you can literally just derive words from sounds. Um, so vibration, three syllables. We've been talking about syllability about a lot reverberation, five syllables. So are even numbers numbers? Do we need even stuff? Um, again, where do prime numbers exactly come into play? Uh, not exactly sure. But vibration and reverberation, what do those mean to you physically? Right? And why? Let's just give, me, give, me, give you an example. Right? I'm in an apartment building. If someone stomps their feet, I can hear them. Why can I hear them? Um, so first, what's the difference between vibration and reverberation? Physically, don't know. Um, but again, I say reverberation, sustained vibration, oscillation, continual vibration. But can we take our rank statement about syllability, how many syllables does a word have, um, and somehow describe physics without light? Light is not moving, light has no momentum. When I see right, frequency, can we just take the word light out and put frequency? Uh, how would I prove that? How would I prove that right now? Um, reflection. Don't know, don't know. Um, but, right, we have, we have to redo the, the foundations of physics. What direction did that marker fall? The Twin Towers, which direction did they fall? Did they fall down? No. They, fall, they fell toward the center of mass of the system. Um, so, got to keep moving forward. A psychological thing when you're all the time, people stuck or depressed or repressed. Depression is repression of sensorality. That is life. That is sensitivity. Um, but can we make that psychological, empirical fact a physical fact? Meaning, is forward the only direction? Meaning... If I want to go, regardless of where I'm at on the three-dimensional sphere that is Earth, I have to have a force vector, vector tangent to this big mass underneath me. We don't feel like we're moving locally because the mass of the Earth is so much bigger. Um, but directions, right? How does light versus light oh just i saw on there's a there's an alcohol company came out and now again once you hear the right answers you think you're going to start deriving stuff and you're not and then you just fuck shit up again <laughs> but i see a light beer l-i-g-h-t that's a physics term versus light l-i-t-e not as heavy or not as concentrated in the general 
So there was a beer company that says Light Beer, L-I-G-H-T, fucking it up again, good job. It's L-I-T-E. But again, I'm thinking we need vibration, frequency, and reverberation. Language is in complete generality because physics is in complete generality. I'm thinking this is the pieces, but more specifically, does we said does light have temperature? And I think no. Why? Because force is mass times acceleration. Light has no mass. Uh, pressure is a force per unit area. So therefore, if there's no pressure, there's no temperature. Light cannot have temperature. Um. But again, just like what, 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 what? How does reflection replace the, the, the verb or the process reflection right now in the room replace light? Why is light an oversimplification? How does, how does, how does syllability, the amount of syllables per word to describe that physical system, affect the, the, the definition? I uh, don't know. Let me start over. And so the reason I keep struggling physically with light is because the cosmological microwave background is a measure of temperature. So again, temperature, vibration, systems with matter are very clear to me. Temperature and vibration without matter is very clear to me. I don't think light exists. I really don't. But how about gravity? Historically, when people are saying gravity is the big force or, you know, uh, Whereas there's four fundamental forces. Just saw an article today, today's April 7, 2021. Some researchers out of somewhere from analyzing data, they said, we have a, here's, here's our data, here's why muons decay differently than predicted by the standard model, therefore a fifth fundamental fucking force. The, rank, the basis of physics has a rank. I'm, can we, with relative size, we might be able to put like a bounding rank on range. Um, right? Vibration is the basis of your singing, reverberation, resonance, that's the, the range calculation. Um, but gravity, the, I hate saying there's four fundamental forces as is right now today is meaningless physics. Just stop doing it, please. For love of fucking God, please fucking stop. But it's incompetence. It's just, again, the data is the data. And, it, and some idiot fucking researcher says, therefore, fifth fundamental force. The weak nuclear versus the strong nuclear is not a good differentiation. Gravity versus E and M. E and M's fucking wrong. So just stop with this stuff, please. But what is gravity meant, right? Why? Why is the? Why does my marker fall down? It doesn't. It falls towards the center of mass, not down towards. So we've talked a lot about natural opposites or natural definitions, but each because of the fundamental stability of two. Words should have natural opposites. You know, there are systems of equations for words. And that's, that's kind of what I'm doing is finding fundamental inconsistencies. But, again, this gravity, Galileo, Einstein, Newton, you're all fucking wrong. The marker fell towards the center of mass. Um, polarity versus chirality. Chirality is kind of, st st like I said, makes me... I don't know what to say about it, but it's why your eyes, right, your left part of your brain part processes the, the visual input from your right eye, or like it switches. It's because of the fundamental geometry of, of stuff. So the, your, your brain switching the, the image on, on your retina, that's, that's a consequence of chirality. I still struggle with chirality in general. Polarity, just displacement, or difference, two differences, two poles. So that's pretty clear to me. Um, but how many types of physical changes are there? Oh, he was a hop, skip, and a jump away. Jump versus hop versus skip versus if I'm cutting uh, Christmas paper, my scissors begin to glide. These are all like fundamental physical words. So we have to start putting how, how many types of physical changes are there? Um, and again, like for the water and ice example, you know, somehow the temperature and the structure of the uh, of the hydrogen atoms. Why 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 is why is solid and liquid not correct definitions of a physical size or systems? Um, these are all physical words. Again, really like so in, in past all right unification of fundamental force. I don't even know why that's the motivation of physics, right? We're gonna. 
write it on a coffee cup. Well, what if life is just more involved than that and we want to have lots of coffee cups and shit? Um, well, gravity, right? Gravity. Ends in sound E is more general. Tension path physics. That, that's definitely, tension is definitely replacing gravity. Right? Potential energy is displacement. Tension is replacing gravity. And proof, my marker still fell, fell towards the center of mass of the system. So, now how about path of least resistance? Right, I'm uh, just literally doing this off the top of my head. But in Newtonian mechanics, you'll have stuff, you'll have a bunch of different paths, and it'll say which one's going to hit the ground first, and then it'll say they'll all hit at the same time. Fuck no. Whatever the shortest path is, is going to hit the ground or get to the end first. So, yeah, up oh, checks out. My marker hit the, hit the fucking uh, guitar case, didn't hit the ground yet. So more stuff, it's not going to mean free path of just its overall distance. How, how, long, how long is that path on your Newtonian mechanics stuff? But again, these are, these are immeasurable differences because of how infinitesimality is so fucking small. Um, again, just, just plugging forward, please fucking pay me. Please get me out of this disgusting, underdeveloped, shithole that is the United States of America. Just saw Ben Shapiro and Candace Owens talking about family values. Believe it or not, when you're on the fucking internet for 10 fucking years saying, oh, I don't like cannabis in your schools, oh, oh, it's, not even, it's not even a political value, dumb fuck. It's science. You can't even do science. You then want to go make money. I'm Ben Shapiro. I talk real fast. I'm going to destroy you with facts and logic. I would love to be destroyed by someone with facts and logic. Please present it to me. <laughs> But you can't, again, it's just, it's, it's a level of hypocrisy where it's, it's science, it's not politics, for fuck's sake. Oh, it, Joe Biden's still not sure if we're going to legalize cannabis, but Schumer, he changed his mind in 2018. Whatever, whatever the fucking first name is, Schumer, bro. Uh, did, did the biology of cannabis change? Did the structure of your cell change in two years? So what changed, guys? Oh yeah, that's right, there's one sentiment of the species, it's basically like an edgy 14 year old that can't fucking grow up, and we have technology so it's completely stagnated. Not disclosing this information at a scientific publication today is a national security threat to fucking everybody. So again, whenever we can start sending criminals to jail, whenever we can start ex legally executing criminals for fucking treason, please let me exist. Please let me be. Please let me be a human being. Like I said, it's not the shitty, the shitty, trashy fucking community I come from is not going to help me. Even though, again, they're going to learn from nobody besides me, because that's just how being, you're kind of outside the, the big intelligence jumps have big consequences. But again, vibration, reverberation, three to five syllables, how do we connect the rank of syllability to physical words, and then we will be able to literally deduce a physical result from words. That's what I've already done this twice. I'm trying, I'm trying to wrap up this proof once again. But again, America is the, the biggest shithole ever. Thanks for watching on uh, Gravity and Light.